Hey guys, it's another tries back with a completely different game. This is Megamori, to be specific. Well, it's a Dojin game created by God, was it Tesagari Frontier or Team Shanghai Alliance? One of those. And well, it was made a while back, and recently, as in October fourth. Sunday, when I record this, it would be today, um, I found the English patch for the game. And that's why all the moon speaks in English. Except that bit at the top. Anyways, as the game's called Megamari, you expect that it's essentially a clone of Mega Man. Which, you're right, it is a clone of Mega Man. And... You'll notice one thing real quickly. I'm doing live commentary again. Because, well, I really don't think I'd be able to get my frustration across through post. And anyways, we have Remu Hakure, Amelia Scarlet, Yuko Saigyuji, Saigyuji, I think that's how you pronounce it, Raisin, Udogen, Inaba, Eirin, Yagakoro, Yomu, Kopaku, Sakia, Izayoi, and Sierno. If you remember the stream that I did like a month ago? At, I started with Sakia. I'm doing the exact same order as the stream. What I'm also going to do is a very. I'm actually going to do this in two runs, getting both sets of weapons. So anyways, we have the Scarlet Devil Mansion, because, well, where else would freaking Hong Meilin or China be? Oh god. Basically, it plays the same as Mega Man 2, as in you don't have a slide, you don't have a charge shot, it's just you, your gun, and boatload of enemies. The difference is, well, one, there are a lot more bullets on the screen. See? Normally, the Mets only shoot like one shot or three shots in the case of Mega Man 1. Here they shoot six. And it seems how it's a Toho based game, you, your hitbox is tiny. As in, yes, you can graze. You can graze practically everything. I'm not going to try to graze everything. In fact, I'm probably going to fail a lot at grazing. I usually take a hit there, but that's not here or there. We have fuzzballs. I don't know the real name, so I call them fuzzballs. Ow. <laughs> then we have one of the Prism River sisters. Uh, fuck, I don't remember her name. I'll probably just go and annotate her name in later. Oh, and... Unlike normal Mega Man 2, we also have, well, we have two playable characters. We have Marissa Kurosame, which is essentially the Mega Man in shots. Her shots do one unit of damage and have three shots on screen at a time. And then we have Alice Margatroyd, which is kind of special on how her weapon works. Because she uses a laser. Now, does half the damage of Marissa's attack, but at the benefit of it can go through everything. And I mean that. Look at that. A uh, little gameplay information. Mushrooms act as a weapon... Oh, not weapon pellets. Health pellets. The star, all the giant. Okay, yellow is health, blue is not health. And it's basically impossible to go up that without taking a hit. Uh, here we have one of the invincible enemies, the clear fuzzball. That's alive. That is a big mushroom. 
Let me reiterate, that is a big mushroom. Yeah, that's a weapon pellet. Those do jack shit because I have no weapons. Yeah, that fuzzball, that gray one, completely invincible to all my weapons. Well, the weapons I have currently. There is one weapon that can kill it. I just don't have it yet because, well, it requires me to fight Raymu. Rather have her weakness. Uh, there is a weakness cycle. And. Well, the weapon system works kind of like this. Remember the Mega Man arcade games? The two fighting ones? If you have, like, two players, you choose who gets what weapon? Basically, it's that. Except, you know, Toho. And, well, basically, the weapons differ from Marissa to Alice, like Sakia here. Well, I'll say, she's right up ahead, damn it. Yeah, that's a large weapon, kiddo. Guess what we don't have? Give you a hint, it starts with a W and ends in Evans. Uh, do -do -do. Here we have, I think that's Lunasa. Lunasa. I call her Lunasa. But yeah, Prison River Sisters shared a trait of when their instrument is up, you cannot hurt them with Marissa, but with Alice, you can just bypass it. Here we have Sakuya. Sakuya is a yoi, made to the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Ow. And a bitch. Her, her special power is knives. Well, knives and the manipulation of time. Mostly it's the manipulation of time. And I'm not going to... I'm probably not going to live. See? I just... That, that turn was just bullshit. Ah, even change that text. I never really noticed earlier. Uh, basically, the general idea of boss fights is use one character to take hits when that character is about to die. Well, do as much damage as you can, and when that character is going, well, it's about dead, you swap him out. Yeah. Alice doesn't have much damage dealment until she gets, like, a special weapon that... Okay, let's be honest. I'm going to give Alice the weapon I get from Sakia because it's horribly overpowered. Now, my definition of overpowered in this game is, like, fucking millions of shots and... Oh yeah, millions of shots and good damage. And I'm going to swap over to Marissa to take hits during the... Basically, this would be the spell card of the boss if we were playing a normal Toho game. Just the last hits ever tried to kill the player before they die, which they, which Sakia failed. And then I just collect 11 as Alice and we're done. Now we get the Quicksilver weapon. Which is basically the metal blades of the game. I mean, yeah, shoot and shit dies. Yes, Al's got Quicksilver. It's fine, even if I can't stop time, I'll put it to good use. Yeah, well, no. And like Mega Man 2, we have the password system. Now, there are several passwords in the game. One of them, you may have heard, may not have heard, I don't know, so I'm going to tell you. One of the passwords is the 25 mushroom code, which is basically, yeah, fill out the entire password block. I'm not doing that. You wanna know why? Because it puts you at the Wily stage equivalent with no special weapons. It's just Marissa and her imbuster, as I'm going to call it, Alice and her laser, and Marissa's broom, which is the item two of the game. And 
probably each recording update, I'm going to do two bosses. 